Ultimately, all of us must answer the questions. Who am I? Why am I here? And what will be the story of my life? It may be that you are asking the question, how do I take hold of this new life in Jesus Christ and make his story my story? Well, that is a very good question. If we follow the biblical account, the answer to this question becomes clear. We access God's grace and the hope and redemption that He offers by placing our faith in Jesus Christ, believing that He is the Son of God and that God raised Him from the dead and making Him the Lord of our lives and being baptized into His name. Quite simply, the new life in Jesus Christ is all about following Jesus, which is why we came here to the Sea of Galilee where Jesus called His disciples. And the more that we follow Jesus, the more that we see that everything about Christ's life is a pattern and example for us, including His baptism. When we submit our lives to the Father in faith, repentance, and baptism, we accept God's will for our lives, just as Jesus did when He was baptized. Now the Apostle Paul was one to whom Jesus appeared to after the resurrection. Paul would write to the church in Rome, and there he would remind them about the new life that they had in Jesus Christ. In Romans chapter 6, Paul speaks of grace and faith and baptism into Christ. Notice what he says. We are those who have died to sin. How can we live in it any longer? Or don't you know that all of us who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? Therefore we were buried with him through baptism into death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. Paul speaks of baptism as a death, burial, and resurrection. Does that sound familiar? When we place our faith in Jesus Christ, repent of our sins, and are baptized into His name, we participate in Christ's death, burial, and resurrection and make Christ's story our story, giving us a new identity, new life, and opening up a whole new world where we receive forgiveness of sins and the Spirit of God to live and dwell inside of us. Now in baptism, we do not earn our salvation. Christ earned everything on the cross. There's nothing that we could do to ever earn even one ounce of our salvation. We are saved by grace through faith. And baptism is an expression of that faith. In fact, the very act of baptism in which we allow ourselves to be lowered down into the water shows an act of trust and submission. We have to at least trust that the person is going to bring us back up out of the water and we have to trust that God is going to save us and lift us up as well. In fact, Peter, in speaking of baptism, compares it to the ark and Noah and how the ark carried Noah and his family away from that old life of sin and brought them to a fresh new world. And so in the same way, when we place our faith in Jesus Christ and are baptized into His name, this, he says, saves us also. Not the removal of dirt from the body, but a way of pledging our consciences and our hearts and our lives towards God. I placed my faith in Jesus Christ when I was 12 years old. Though I'd grown up in a Christian home, I had to make my faith my own. I was at a Christian camp, and I remember going out late one night and looking up at the stars. And it struck me that Christ died not just for everyone out there, but that He died for me and my sins. And I decided that night that I wanted to follow Jesus Christ. And the next morning, I went down to the river, and I was baptized into Christ. And it was the greatest decision that I ever made. And God has blessed me more than I deserve for that decision. Through faith, repentance, and baptism, we accept God's grace as a precious gift. And this is a choice which each of us must make. You may have grown up in a Christian home, or perhaps went to church occasionally, or maybe you're just learning about Jesus for the first time. Let me ask you, have you made a personal faith commitment to Jesus Christ? Have you been baptized into His name? If not, why not? Jesus Himself was baptized, and when we're baptized into Christ, we follow the pattern that Jesus has set for our lives, and we receive 
that new life. Now when we make this faith decision, it is a personal decision. And yet, our salvation is not just a personal salvation. Because part of the gospel message is that there is a loving, Christ-centered community that we can be a part of. God's people, the church. God's people make up a loving family, all brought together at the foot of the cross, acknowledging the need for a Savior, living the life of Jesus Christ, and taking up His mission to make the world a better place, to feed the hungry, to clothe the naked, to reach out to all who are lost and hurting, and to share the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. This is the new life which we can take hold of, which will bring hope, purpose, and meaning to our lives. So now, how about you? What do you think of this new life in Jesus Christ? Have you made a faith commitment to Him? Have you been baptized into His name? What do you think that Christ is calling you to do with your life? May God bless you on this faith journey and may you find this new life in Jesus Christ.